Welcome to Random and Desperate. Now today, we are going to have a look around Livingham Town Centre and have a look at the shops. So we're just in the main square now. But that's where we're heading to, folks. Down there. Now, as soon as I can look down there, you can see the old-fashioned, the iconic telephone boxes. So, come and join me on this little adventure round the streets, the shops of living. Now, check this out, folks. A proper telephone box. I haven't seen one in years. Wow, it actually works. 60p. It actually works. Look at that. An iconic telephone box. Now, we're going to head down the main high street. Now, I've noticed on the right here, there is lots of corporation giants. But on the left there, I've noticed some independent shops. So what we're going to do, we're going to carry on this street, but we're going to cross over because there's no way, well, no way I'm going to go on this side because of the car, you've got Tesco's, you've got Boots, usual corporation giants. But over here is something more unique. So we'll just go on this crossing. But isn't it, but isn't it beautiful around here? Wow. Look at this. Sticky chocolate cookies. Look at the size of their brownies. Free for a tenner. Look at the size of them. All homemade. In here, probably. In here. You've got a traditional jewellers round here. Look at this. An old fashioned bookshop. Yeah. Wow. Well, and then check this out. Pies, this tasty cheese shop. An original butchers. The homemade jams from around the around the country or in let unless they make it themselves. A proper British butcher at its best. Fantastic idea. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head down the main centre of living. Bye. Now what I like about these old, let's just say these seaside places, all around here you get lots of coffee shops. So it's breakfast time at the moment. People talking, laughing. <laughs> Check this out. Shopping Arcade. So investigating here. Oh, you can, I don't know if you can smell it, but you can smell the strong strengths of, of garlic. Well, obviously, you're not going to smell it. Wow. Well, interesting place. We've got gifts here on the left. Nice barbers, hairdressers, golden nectar shop, look at that, peaches, handbags, electronics, beauty shop, and look at that. It's not Dorothy Perkins, it's unique, it's special. That's good, that. So, right, so we're now just at the, the back of the shopping centre. So what I'll do, I'll go back in there and we'll, we'll carry on our little tour on the, the, the street where we come off. So these are the prices round here, look at that. 
could say, I'm from Denton, Manchester. And let's just say you could get a mansion where I live for £600,000. <laughs> but it is. This place is the posh end of Blackpool, dare I say it. Because if you are here, if you live here, you've got to have plenty of money, to be honest with you. Because it's such different from Blackpool. A bit different from St Anne's. St Anne's a bit more seaside -y. Well, but when you've got the next town, which is Livam, it's totally different. Because, look, if you look here, look at the trees. They really look after the place, to be honest with you. And there's some unique places, like this place here. A gift shop. What are not a corporation giants? Now, yes, on the right there, you can see it, Costa Coffee. But avoid these places, always go to interesting places. Like you saw me going there before for breakfast. There it is, £12 of breakfast. Well worth going. Look at this, great idea. A kids clothes shop. But it is, I'll be honest, it is beautiful around here. Now, I've been to, I've been mostly all over the coast now, of file, which I have done. Fleetwood, Cleveland, Blackpool, obviously, St. Anne's, and this is my last destination on this coast. But beautiful, isn't it, folks? Absolutely stunning. Look at that church, that red brick there. I like anything old and unique. What I might do, folks, or to be honest with you, I'll go and check that church out. It looks so unique and different. Sounds like a plan. Random approved. This is where we're at now. St. Peter's Catholic Church in Lubbock. Looks really nice here, so what would we'll it? What we'll do, I'll have a quick look in here. Look at that statue there. Original red brick church. I like these, I like the crosses here. Crosses here. I'm not going to go in because they've got actually, they actually song singing today, let's saw him sing. But look at the structure around here. Beautiful, isn't it? The archway here. You've got some writing. I don't know if you can. Could be in Latin, which sometimes usually is. You've got the old rectory there. Probably years ago, that's where the the priest, is it priest? No, is it priest? What did they call Catholics? I can't remember. I think I would call it a priest dyslexic you see but I'm going to check round the back and see what else I can see of this glorious beautiful St Peter's Catholic Church in Leven well check Mary out there check her out look at that beautiful isn't it Mother Mary Sister Mary and also, what we'll do is uh, look at this. Look at this boat here. I love churches, to be honest with you. It was the heart of the community years ago. But over the time, over the generation, it's slowly dying off. And places like this will, will eventually be gone. Got that pie store there and other butchers or bakery sorry more of a bakery well what I'm going to do now is head towards back to where originally started and I'll be honest with you if you got if you do want to live around here you have you've got to have plenty of money like check this out here Lamborghini wow look at this look at that Marvellous, isn't it? 
<laughs> you never know. One day random and desperate might get one of them. Check out this old house. I love it. I love the, the doors. How the, the large and the numbers on the top. What's that 18th century? Maybe look at the top. The attic space. That traditional green grocer. And you can't go anywhere without the local boozer. The heart of the community. <laughs> I've been in there. Been in there. It's not even 12 o'clock yet, so that's why it's not open. So it's still early. Now it's on a Saturday and it's round about half past 10 in the morning. But I thought I'd get out of this beautiful day. Now, I don't really like this, but let me just show you. You've got Pizza Express here, but if you look at that, if you look at the top, 1900s, wow. Farmer Bank, maybe. And it's got some description up there. Yeah, it was a bank, Deacon's Bank. See if we could get a bit over here so you could see it. There it is, so it was an original bank. Look, there's the old door there. Deacon's Bank, but well, look at the structure on the top there. And we always look up, you always see the interesting arch artifacts. Because with them, they used to build beautiful buildings. A simple, a, sim a symbol of, let's say, riches, especially banks. So this is the main square we're at now, where we started our little journey. Now what we're gonna do, I'm going to head up to the beach area up there. That's where we, that sounds like a plan. There's the Heritage Centre, which is on the right here. And next door, which I've been in, which I recommend the Grove. Quite a posh place, actually, to go. So if you want to take someone very special, go there. Well, we're going to head to right at the front of living well folks this is where we're going to end our adventure and it's one of the last videos i'm going to do in living and because i've been here a few days now and i've seen some interesting things i've been to blackpool i've been to let's just say I, I did a bit of a, a random and desperate pub crawl with Blackpool, which was amazing, to be honest with you. So I'm probably, this will be the last time I come here, to be honest with you. It's just a one-off, this one, this living. But if you look, if you look to the left, that is Southport. And further down you go, you have got St Anne's. Then you've got Blackpool. It'll carry on to Cleveland's and Fleetwood. But I have done now the whole of the file coast on YouTube and probably that's the end of the adventure. Yeah, I will go back to Blackpool a few times, I must admit. If that's when this little, not little anymore, is it? This new tube experience started for me. Well, there it is. Places like this makes you be glad to be honoured to be British. So, I will see you next time, folks. And thanks for joining this journey with Random and Desperate. And I'll see you next time for whenever the adventure awaits. The end of this little adventure with Random and Desperate. You, spot, you spent a whole day with me in Leven and the house was all right it's not usually the high class what uses stopping but i went for the the let's just say the cheapest version and it was all right it's not there's nothing i would say it was bad about it but it was just a, ho a home to stop in to rest my head on the lonely night when i was doing all my youtube and stuff so i'm back now 
at Lebham. This is the train station where it's taking me back to Manchester. And well, it is sad to go, to be honest with you. I, I did plan it to do other stuff, but I didn't go far into plan. But like life, no, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't. I had a great time in Blackpool, fantastic time meeting all them subscribers and the stories they were telling me how, how my videos have helped them through their journeys of their lives thanking me, selfies and I must have been recognised a good old many times but I suppose it is what it is but it was no intention for me to have a YouTube where people recognise me I did it as a little hobby but it's so, it is growing at a, a stupid amount now is what it is I suppose is what it is right that's the end that's the end of the adventure with random and desperate i'm going to put one more out to next time which is me walking around living yeah i'll do that one so thanks for watching people and i'll see you next time for whenever the adventure the journey takes